listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Monday, May 15th, 2023. Today is also the feast day of one of my favorite saints, Saint Isidore the Farmer. Now, Saint Isidore the Farmer lived in the 10 hundreds in Madrid, Spain. He was a poor man who spent his whole life laboring on a farm, doing manual labor. He was married to another saint, Saint Maria. They had a holy marriage. They had one child who unfortunately died when he was still young. And yet this very holy couple dedicated themselves to God. St. Isidore the farmer has many miracles attributed to him from angels manning his plows while he prayed to the multiplication of food to feed those who are hungry. But what is perhaps his most valuable lesson for us is that work really can be holy. That no matter what we're doing, whether it's doing our homework or digging a hole or pulling weeds, that we can do that while praying, while bringing Jesus Christ along with us. And so for all of us who have work to do today, which is everyone, let's pray through the intercession of St. Isidore the farmer that we can make that work a prayer. Now we are in May, we are under the patronage of St. Damien of Molokai, and he has challenged us in the Be a Saint Kids Club to learn the Memorare, one of my, again, one of my favorite prayers. So before we dive into this week's content, if you would please join me in praying the Memorare. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Okay, so this week we're starting a brand new week, and we are going to talk about a brand new topic, something that is timeless and yet so important for us right now. We are going to be talking about... God. (laughs) We are going to be talking specifically about the attributes of God the Father, who we of course know cannot be divided or separated from the other parts of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ. But very often we talk about Jesus Christ, we talk about the Holy Spirit, and we don't spend a lot of time meditating on God the Father. God who revealed himself to the ancient Hebrews, God who is in full union with the other parts of the Trinity, and yet that heavenly force that we look to as creator. So before we start to talk about God, I want to make a couple of things clear. Number one, although we're going to be referring to God the Father, remember, like I said, we cannot separate one part of the Trinity from another. So the attributes of God that we speak about today apply to all parts of the Trinity. Now, the even more important part to mention is that we can never fully comprehend God. Now, think about it this way. Think about a dog, Okay, can a dog ever fully understand what a human being is? Can a dog understand what it is to be, you know, really stumped by a math problem? Can a dog understand marriage? Can a dog understand wanting to advance in a career? No, a dog never could understand these things because a dog is a dog and has a limited understanding. Now, that's a good analogy to think about how we can sort of, but not ever fully, understand God. 
the the difference between a dog and a human being is not nearly as much difference as there is between us and God. If we ever got to the point where we felt like we fully understood God, then we are completely wrong and we have completely missed the boat on who God is. He is beyond our understanding. Just as a dog can kind of come to learn some things about human beings, we can learn some things about God, but just as a dog will never understand us all the way inside and out, we will never understand God inside and out because our minds are limited, because really we aren't God. We can only fully understand things that are beneath us or equal to us. And we know that God is infinitely above us. So we can't understand God and yet growing in understanding, coming to a point where we know a little bit more, where we strive to increase our understanding will help our relationship with him grow. It will motivate us to be more reverent, more dedicated to worship, and more passionate about having a relationship with him. So we're going to dive into those things tomorrow. But today, let's go back to our patron of today, St. Isidore the Farmer, and pray that our work can become a prayer, just as he did during his life. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. This week, the Catholic Sprouts podcast is sponsored by Catholic Textbook Project. Without the church, history would not be the same. Catholic Textbook Project tells that story fully and accurately without prejudice or bias. Through an engaging narrative format, Catholic students are invited to experience the honest story of their ancestors and discover how the world became what it is today. Inspire your students or your children with God's faithfulness and give them important context for the world they will grow up in beyond the limitations of secular history curricula. To learn more, visit catholictextbookproject.com forward slash sprouts. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit spokestreet.com.